So this is part three uh, of making this kitchen aid mixer and uh, let's continue I guess by let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see which part should we work on right now let me first look at these reference images and see Uh, we can work we can work we can work we can work let's just continue with this uh hand or leg here so this is where we ended off in the last video so let's just select uh this and this loop until up to there and extrude like so and uh if you zoom in a bit you can see how uh, we can make these follow the highlight uh, here uh, this loop here follow the highlight so just drag uh, these edges to follow that highlight like that why are there two loops here hmm interesting 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 let's delete this first uh, make sure we are selecting the outer loop and I think we can push it in a bit or out a bit like that and then extrude then extrude uh, make sure this is following the highlight like that now we can also go to the front view and push it out just a notch like that and then we can extrude and uh, push it in the x-axis but uh, remember we have the clipping turned on for the mirror modifier th so it will just merge where the mirror modifier ends and we can add a loop here like that and select these these faces and push them out just a bit and uh, around there and then select this inside loop and uh, use hit g twice to move it along its normals and uh, then maybe push it out a bit you can still select these push them out i think now we can follow uh, the curvature here something like that and you see how the base is coming up is coming out uh, so from there let's see if we select this here and go to front view um, let's see maybe just trying to get uh, the best to look as what i expect it to look and uh, we can push these maybe add a loop here I don't, know, I don't have reference images for this for the front side but I guess we can look at this here and eyeball how it would how this would look uh, we can just select this loop extrude it extrude it down and uh, scale it flatten it in the Z axis so that is flat the base is flat like that and uh, we can also select uh, this back end dot that are from here extrude and flatten it in the z-axis make sure it's also flat uh, at the same level like this and uh, maybe bring this up a bit we can add a loop for, uh, to say around there and connect that like that and uh, now we can connect that loop like that and now we have that again as i said i'll be separating this uh, in the future not right now because we need to first get a few things correct uh, before we worry about that uh, so the back side here uh, of this object of this sphere 
Let's see. Do, 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 uh, we need to make this curved to add to make room for this uh, vent, to, to make room for these vents here but uh, before we do that we can uh, connect these so that is one object and then we can come back and work on the vents after so let's see let's see, let's see I think we can add a loop. We can f connect this into one like that. And uh, we add a loop there to make it curved like that. And uh, so this should come. Let me see if I have a good is the glaze pencil. Is this is it? Yeah, so we can bring this here uh, I'm not sure. I don't know if that would work but uh, let's see how how do you delete these annotations let me see in view annotations clear okay so let's see how we can approach this this first turn off uh, the subdivision uh, let's work in this view because uh, the reference images are getting in the way. I think we can change this uh, to one of the reference images just to see how this would flow. So if we connected this, uh, there is this edge loop here. Uh, so we also have this that we can connect like that. Yeah and we have this edge loop here uh so, so uh, let's see if we bevel this like this and have this connected to this mm. then we can I will still have this here. So I guess we can just delete this loop and connect this uh, like this. And then add a loop here. Then uh, we have this here so we can... Hmm. Let's see if I add another loop here. And connect it like that. Uh, I think we can also make this like this so connect this to this and bring this loop here is this connected let's first connect it let's connect everything right now and then start using use the knife tool to cut out uh, the different uh, loops we want to add so also let me change this to flat shading so that I can easily see the different faces. So if I connect this to this with J, then I can dissolve this vertex, control X, uh, sorry, that egg loop, control X, and uh, I need to slide this up like that. And uh, this loop would come, and this would be joined to that so that we don't have that triangle. And uh, this here, I think, can come directly here. So join this with this to have something like that. Uh, but we still need to maintain the curve here. And I guess we can join this with this to remove these triangles. So let's see, let's see. But how would this work if, if this, if we dissolve this vertex, we will we would eliminate that that problem. I 
And I guess we can remove this loop here so that we don't run into. So this entire loop, dissolve that loop and uh, would remain We just need to get this to look right. I mean, we, we need to bring this back. It doesn't look right, so. We still have this loop. It goes straight all the way to the bottom here, so we need we can do that for it. So I, so I can delete this here, delete first. Select this edge loop and then extrude that in the y direction like that. Now because it's straight all the way from here to here, so let's see. Oh what we can do is select this here, extrude that down directly and then we can connect uh, that with that and uh, let's wait to, to do anything here then we can connect this with this and this with that uh, we still have an issue here uh, that we can resolve by let's see if we add a loop if we just join this we remain with this triangle here uh, that we can fix let's see how can we fix uh, this Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, how can we fix this issue? I think we can also connect this with that. Hmm. And uh, maybe cut, make a U-turn uh, cut like this. I think this is this part is mostly about fixing uh, the topology a bit. I think we can also remove this loop here, and we can dissolve this vertex. We still have this issue here. You can also make a cut from here to here. Make a cut from here to here. No, why it's not making that cut, so we can just subdivide. Join that. Join this with this. Okay, I'm not sure why it's not what. Okay, this is not a face. So we can just make it, turn it into a face like that. And uh, we can join this with this. I still have this edge here. Mm, there are still a lot of things to figure out, but uh, let's see, let's see, let's continue and see. I think if we brought this here, if we connected this like this, you would have uh, I think also this loop here is causing a lot of issues and uh, we don't need it right now so we can Dissolve it and uh, also dissolve this vertex. Doing this with this, dissolve this vertex. 
uh, dissolve this vertex and uh, we can join this with this dissolve this vertex uh, what about if we move this around here and this like this and join this to this and bring this bring this around there dissolve this vertex we are also trying to remove any triangles that we don't need yes let's cor correct us uh, some of the issues we're seeing here If your topology is very good, uh, you're going to find that uh, the subdivision, when you apply the subdivision surface, it will really look neat, and you're going to be very satisfied with your with your uh, with your results. So I'm still finding different ways to make this work. Uh, remove triangles. It's tedious, but uh, it is necessary. So we can dissolve, dissolve that. I think we can merge this. And now we have this loop that goes all the way through there. And, uh, but we still have, we, we do need this loop here. Uh, but uh, I, I don't like this triangle here. Uh, let's see how it looks with uh, subdivision. smooth shading uh, let's start adding sharp areas marking this uh, adding uh, these bevel weights where the sharp areas are and see how this looks so uh, this loop here and uh, this here should be given a sharp bevel weight And I think also this, uh, which, which loop? Let's go to front view. I think this loop here, uh, that brings in, think around this, 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 uh, like this, and then that comes in uh, to the bottom here. Should also have a bevel weight of one. like that i remember we're going to divide this area here so don't forget about that yeah so in part four we'll uh, clean it clean this up and uh, add more details